Under conditions when national debt in European countries exceeds the Maastricht criterion of 60% of GDP, and in some cases like Greece, reaches 180%, it is impossible to achieve stable and sustainable growth. European governments, therefore, must seek ways to rein in national debt and reduce it. This was the conclusion reached at the Bank of Latvia's annual conference with the theme Quo Vadis Europe. Instead of stimulating the economy, more debt is actually working the opposite direction. It's actually hurting growth because it increases uncertainty about the future course of fiscal policy. So the private businesses become concerned that there may be tax increases in the, on the way coming in the future. So this is uncertainty which certainly discourages further investment and as a result of delayed investment what we get is basically that the potential growth rate of the economy goes down. Even as the Eurozone in recent years has had an active monetary policy by increasing the money supply, buying government bonds and offering record low interest rates to the financial sector, the options available to Frankfurt for stimulating growth have been exhausted and the next step must be taken by politicians of member states. Necessary preconditions are macroeconomic stabilization and structural reforms. In the macroeconomic stabilization, especially fiscal consolidation, which means it is necessary to have sound and sustainable public finance and to provide as much as possible structural reforms, like public finance reform, tax reform, social system reform, pension reform, healthcare reform, labor market reform. It works. To implement these reforms, one needs political will, but there seems to be a lack of it among contemporary European politicians. Now, the biggest problem is not uh, how technically to do it, but how to find sufficient political will and leadership to do this, because from a political point of view, it is difficult, of course. One should add that political will is lacking not only for reforms, but also for respecting previously adopted rules, the conference speakers said. There were good rules on paper, but those rules were never implemented in practice. And we, we, we see that those rules, on the, as regards the fiscal discipline, those rules are put in place. We have the Stability and Growth Pact, which does not allow countries to have def deficits higher than 3% of GDP. But we see in practice those rules are often not observed. It should be noted that there are only six relatively small economies in the Eurozone that meet the criterion of the Maastricht Treaty that a state shall not have debt exceeding 60% of GDP. These countries are Finland, Slovakia, Luxembourg, and the three Baltic countries, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania.